Yeah, Clayton Walter says that this tree was uprooted in his front yard on during Sunday morning storm. Now he says that this is one of the trees that he tried to get removed last year during a home improvement project, but the city denied that request. And he says he's not upset with them for their decision, but he says someone losing their life or even their home just isn't worth it. We certainly heard um, heard it start raining really hard, but uh, and heard some stuff that we thought was thunder that we think must have been the trees falling. But a tree in Clayton Walter's front yard fell during the Sunday morning storm. The tree damaging a neighbor's car across the street in another tree in his backyard falling on his fence and damaging a neighbor's home. Thankfully, no one was injured. These houses can eventually be replaced again, not trying to minimize how traumatizing that must be for a kid to see a tree falling on their house or you know, be asleep and be woken up by that. But Walters believes there was a way to possibly avoid some of that damage after doing a home improvement project in his front yard last year. We wanted to go ahead and get some other trees removed. The city would not let us put, would not let us take out any more trees or at least the trees that we wanted taken down. One of the trees he and his wife wanted to have removed was the one that fell during the storm. Walters says their request to the city was denied to preserve the canopy. If you have X trees of a certain width, you have to keep those unless it's, I believe that there is some, you know, caveat, obviously, if it's an imminent danger or a dead tree. Walter says he doesn't want to place blame on the city. But it is just kind of, um, it, it, you know, it is something that we've thought about just, hey, what if we could have gotten that tree removed when we got the other one removed? This would be a lot better situation. Now, the city of Homewood did confirm that there is a tree ordinance, but we couldn't talk to the city's inspector to find out why this particular tree couldn't be removed. Now, again, Walter says that he does not blame the city for their decision. But for now, we're live in Homewood. Aaron Llewellyn, WVTM 13.